What is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Garcel. Welcome back to the video. The Toronto Maple Leafs lose to the Montreal Canadiens 3-2 in overtime. A tough one for the boys and especially for Jack Campbell, who suffers his second loss of the season. And this one's to the Montreal Canadiens. Unfortunate. I think this is the second time that they lost to the Habs. Two loss to the Habs, Jack Campbell. Not good going into a series where you're going to verse only the Habs. We persevere. We don't worry about that kind of stuff. Jack Campbell is a 15-2 and two goaltender. Absolute gorgeous. Let's just jump right into it. But before that, Nick Foligno is hurt, and that's unfortunate. A little scary. I'm a little worried for Nick Foligno. It could be a re-aggravated upper body injury. You could see he was going in to Jake Allen. Skates, stops, but the stop was a little bit sudden. You could see that he didn't have enough time to adjust. So when he's stopping, he turns his shoulder and that force of stopping is quick enough to put some sensitivity probably in the upper shoulder area right under here or the chest area right there. So he's probably in some discomfort. That is my guess to what the injury is. And I could be right. I could be completely wrong. Could have been in another play that didn't even have anything to do with when he started limping on the ice. Anyway. Let's get into the video. First period starts, and we have our boy, Morgan Riley from the point. Takes a clapper, grabs that stick, bang, right into the back of the net from the point. Looks like it gets deflected. Nope, that was all Momo. It's number five of the season for Morgan Riley. And four minutes in, the boys are up one zip. Second period rolls around, and uh, Tyler Toffoli has to ruin the party. Number 28 in the season for the power play, man. Tyler Toffoli, gorgeous goal. It's a nice shot from Tyler Toffoli. We'll give him credit. The Habs, they tied a one. But Austin Matthews says no. Austin McMatthews with a laser shot right into the back of the net. Austin Matthews, gorgeous goal from the pack of Jake Muzzin tipped in front. And Austin Matthews with his 39th of the season, a laser beam, gorgeous, 2-1 for the boys. But at the end of the third period, the Leafs just about to finish this game off. Philip Deneau. Philip Deneau. You know, I don't like this guy anymore. I have... I've, I've gotten something with Philip Deneau. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But I just don't like him anymore. I can't name them for Philip Deneau, so I don't hate Philip Deneau. I hate, I dislike him. It's just, that's what I feel about Philip Deneau. Anyways, Philip Deneau scores his fifth of the season. Not a big score, but he makes a count when he has to. About 52 seconds left in the third period. Philip Deneau sends the Habs to overtime. A huge point for the Montreal Canadiens chasing the Winnipeg Jets. And in overtime... Mr. Overtime, Cole Caulfield, two goals, ties Wayne Gretzky for most overtime goals in one season. That's right, Gretzky only had two overtime goals in all the seasons that he played hockey. Can you believe that? Anyways, Cole Caulfield, two overtime goals in the season, and Mr. You knew Cole Caulfield from the Montreal Canadiens wins the game for them. They win 3-2, final in overtime, and let's just head over to the stats. Jack Campbell gets the loss on this one. 23 shots against, 3 goals against, 20 saves, and an 870. A poor night from Jack Campbell as he suffers a second loss of the season. Jake Allen has a good night, and he rarely does, but today he did. 29 shots against, 2 goals against, 27 saves, and a 9 3 one for Jake Allen. Let's move on to the three stars. Austin Matthews. I did a little bit backwards this time, but don't worry. One goal for Austin Matthews gives him the third star with 23 minutes and 51 seconds of time on ice. Nick Suzuki had three assists, 20 minutes and nine seconds. Had an assist for every goal, but somehow ended up as a second star. Love to see the first star. And it is Cole Caulfield. One goal, plus one, and 12-17 played with the game-winning goal from Cole Caulfield. I can't argue with that. That's a pretty good first star credential. So the Leafs, they lose. They lose big time, but it doesn't matter really. I don't really uh, hate that the Leafs lost. I mean, it's whatever. We lost to the, the Montreal Canadiens. I know all Montreal fans are saying, oh, we're going to beat you in the playoffs now. Really? Really? I, I still don't think so. Maybe six games at most. And I, I know this is going to come back and quote me and haunt me to death because for some reason the Habs are going to sweep the Leafs. But, you know. I don't think it's going to happen. I, I really don't think it's going to happen. I think the Leafs are a much better team this year. They're much stronger. They're much better. They're much... I don't know. They're just... Everything about them this year screams that they're a cup contender this season. Last year? Are you kidding me? I mean, of course, I put my boys bias. I, 
I said they go to the conference finals, but their defense was atrocious. Excuse me, their offense, their bottom six was atrocious. Their goaltending was atrocious. Everything about that team last year was god awful. This team this year would beat that team 10 to nothing. I guarantee it. This team would smoke that team last year because they just they couldn't hang around. So Thursday, May 6th, against the Montreal Canadiens at the Scotiabank Arena. And this is going to be a big one for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Try to get a couple more points. If they win or if the Edmonton Oilers lose tonight, I guess they clinch the division. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I think they got the division in the bag against the Edmonton Oilers. And hopefully... We get a very good first round matchup against the Jets or the Montreal Canadiens. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more of these videos. And please make sure to turn your post notifications to get notified when these videos do come out. One more thing. Please, please, please make sure to share this video with your friends and family as it helps me out a lot. And I really do appreciate it. A couple things just to say. Got a lot of stuff coming. We got bracket challenges coming. Got hype videos from my buddy's page, Stan Witness, on Instagram. Make sure you go follow Stan Witness, by the way. This is a plug. I don't really do this that often, but I'm just going to help my buddy out, give him a little plug, and uh, send it away with that. Ooh, hit, hit the table. <laughs> uh, just going to send it off with that. Yeah, he's got a great page up. Works hard enough, so I thought I'd give him a plug. And It's, uh, it's a really good page. We're going to put a lot of stuff for the Leafs playoffs coming very soon we're going to be a pretty busy bunch so make sure to stay tuned for that on stand witness on instagram thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one take it easy guys